Today we have a 2024 Lance 1172 truck camper. Uh, this one's designed for the big bad boy trucks. Um, it's heavy. They've got two huge slides on it. Weight is 4772, so I'm thinking at least a 3500, 350, um, if not larger. It does have the side awning here. It's armless, so it does uh, have the wind sensor and it'll retract and bring itself in um, in the event uh, wind creeps up. Uh, as you can see, you just kind of have some access panels here. I try to get them all open if I can. Um, does have the bigger 30 pound tanks. Um, switch over up top, of course. Exterior speakers, heat exhaust, potable water input, 110 power, winterization access. Essentially, uh, you've got easy uh, grab and go to winterize this bad boy. You can kind of see they even plumb right there a heat duct in so that way uh, your water lines you can kind of see them hanging out down there uh, they don't all freeze up on you uh, truma water heater of course swing out jack brackets because uh, you're talking dually now and then uh, again just an access panel I'll zip the light on so if for some reason you need to get in there and do something you can if it's on your truck it's going to be tight because that'll be in the way uh, let me back up does have the full fiberglass front cap on it. Does, uh, of course, have the Lance branding. Uh, moving right along. Big slide out. This is kind of the underside of it. But again, big slide out. Slide out topper. Exterior storage. Right there and over here. If you want to plug this bad boy in, um, your power hook is right there. As you can see, the slide outs are sealed up very, very nice. Um, this is kind of your control panel, dump area, what have you. Drains, dump tanks. If you're hooking up to satellite or cable, extra your shower. You can kind of see the astrofoil in there. Uh, pretty straightforward. This one does have a generator on it, so if you are hanging out doing what you need to do, you can pop that bad boy on and you've got power. Uh, nice of them to give you the larger propane tanks. There is a ladder going up the slide out. There's a hook on piece on the inside. I can get down here. It's pretty low. Got some decent sized storage in here. Of course your power cord. Um, but they do utilize about everything here for you. Do you get a half closing door? So pretty straightforward that way. I didn't even look to see what was in here. It's like you just have some uh, mechanical access. Again, big tail lights, all LED. Big grab handle, stairs are hanging down below. I'm walking into it. I suppose right off the bat, got slide out cameras or slide out buttons. Let me kick this light off so you uh, don't see that glare. Docking lights, backup camera on and off. If you have to uh, wire in your happy jacks, you can. Uh, let me get in and I'll just turn. All right, there's your happy jack controller. Again, decent sized storage. This top one has a light that pops on for you. Uh, they do a pretty darn good job with it. Of course, you can adjust them. In the rear, you do get a reclining couch. These things pop right up. Just pull the ripcord and out they go. Close them up. Um, I'm always a fan of these. If you've watched my host videos, you know how much I love dimmers. So the fact that I can have this lower high, super convenient to me. Um, again, the couch is hanging out here. There's the rest of that ladder and the goodie bag we were talking about before. Um, Nifty little table that hangs out here, kind of like a TV tray-ish kind of thing. I am now sitting in the couch and looking forward. I'm looking at the kitchen. There is a swing-out television right about there. It's not the largest thing in the world, but let's face it, you're probably not using this thing to watch television. The idea is to get out and to use it. 110 power 
12 volt and USB. Of course, of course a booth dinette here. Pull out storage, nice roller glides. This does drop down. Flip the flip the handle here. Kind of started in motors and they've made their way. Now that's huge. Um, power on that back corner over there and then this top part does come down to make into a bunk bed if you would like. I'm gonna back up and go back into the kitchen. Um, there's a flip up countertop so that would uh, greatly increase your counter space. Sometimes just that little bit goes a long way. Huge under storage. So pretty easy peasy there. You've got your oven, three burner cooktop, backsplash, nice solid surface countertops. This is swinging around, you can pull it out. Um, nice big farm sink. Still rocking plastic for whatever reason. Um, nice lighting up top. There is a close off vent up here as well, so you can kind of close it off and make the sun go away, as they say, if it's a nice hot sunny day. Little snaps in here to put on some, uh, there's a little cover that goes on for in cold weather so it doesn't get all nasty and you don't lose all your heat. Nice big uh, fantastic fan with a rain sensor. Interior speakers of course floating about. Uh, moving into the kitchen cabinets as long as we're here. Again, decent sized storage. You even got little pockets to get around from this side to that side. And this one's blocked off so nothing goes flying. Microwaves, keeping it real. They do not have any glass trays in there to break or fall apart on you. Nifty little pocket storage in here. I don't know, magazines, whatnots. Again, some more storage utilizing all the space. This is a television that would essentially swing around. It's a full articulating uh, arm kind of a deal. It does have a 100 watt solar panel on it, prepped for 200 watts. Um, of course, you can always do your own thing. Generator auto start here, your Truma control, tank levels, all that good stuff. Again, nice slide out. Fridge and freezer, pretty traditional. Um, RV 110 and uh, propane unit. Those are getting harder and harder to find. Uh, King antenna. Didn't point this out before. Dimmable lights. Again, we talked about how much I like that. Moving into the bathroom area. Pretty spacious, actually. They do a good job. It's separated. It's not a wet bath. Decent sized storage in here. You've got power down below. Pull out drawer for uh, your sink top area. Nice big mirror, you can see me. I guess this would be your makeshift medicine cabinet since the mirror is not going to move out. A little towel hanger there. And uh, moving along, you've got your shower. Almost has a little bathtub type thing in it. Um, this is probably popping up just to get around the side wall of the truck bed. This is actually kind of nifty because you can do this and now it comes out and you've got shoulder room. Looks like this adjusts up and down. You've got the hanging rack up here as well that can go in, go out. Your sky dome. Um, I guess if I was going to shower, I'd take that rack out. I'll stand in here because I've just been doing that with all of them. So, again, that's why I'd pull that shower rack out. But you can kind of see where my head would go. I clear. Easy peasy. Up inside here, even better. This, I haven't tried moving it yet, but if I get it all the way, it doesn't quite go up because it hits the top here. So it's about as high as you're going to get, but it's about the right height. Might not even have to bend down or pick it up. Um, other than that, this thing does get in your way a little bit because you can't get all the way up here, but I guess that's a necessary evil. You can get the job done. Um, again, that's probably just going up over mechanicals or what have you. Nice little soap tray there. 
There are some trays over here, but I'd probably just knock them down with my elbows because I'm trying to fit in there properly and put a vent fan there. All right, coming back on out. Just gonna kind of look forwards to back. Nice roomy, spacious. And then uh, the bed area actually does have a lot of room. A lot of hidden storage that you wouldn't think of. And your two-step system. So you step there and of course you move on to the next. Again, adjustable storage racks in here. Your stereo is hanging out in the bedroom as well. That has its own little shock to hold it up. And uh, you do get speakers up here. A little railing over the top of your head there. Nothing low enough for you to hit it. Um, you've got your roof, escape, hatch, vent, whatever you want to call it. I suppose I'll point this out. There's actually a grab handle here. And you can't probably tell, but there is a piece of sandpaper here for good grip. I mean, that actually goes a long distance. Simple little things you don't realize until all of a sudden you're using them. Nice big hanging storage. You can put a bunch of stuff in there. Again, a little bit of cubby hole up top. 110 power up here. You've got your light sleep machine area. A little bit of storage going around. Hopefully my camera doesn't go flunky. You now have these little uh, reading lights here. Turn them on, turn them off. Little push button in the middle. Windows on both sides and up top. So you could really get some airflow going if you wanted to. And these are wall anchors for probably the cabinet in the other room. But if you look, there's screws in them. I imagine you could mount a television in there too because you don't see any place else to put a TV in here. So, I wonder. I don't see any TV plugs. Oh, ooh, there's light in here. That's kind of nifty. So, not really sure if that's usable. Oh, here we are. They're right up here. So, I imagine you could probably wall mount to that. I checked with service before I did it, but I'm pretty sure that would work. Uh, that is this unit as a whole. Uh, Lance does put together some pretty nice campers. Um, if I'm going to compare this to like the host line we carry, um, the only thing I will point out is you do have a little bit more of a step up into the slide out. The bathroom's a little bit tighter and there's more of a climb to get into the main bed. But other than that, they do a really, really good job. Um, host just has their main floor above the rails of your truck. So you get flush floor slide outs where this one You've got that little box area that kind of has to go up just due to the design. Nothing wrong with it, just a little bit different.